got a glizzy 43 I perk it cause it's fun size So fuck the ops man down I promise you they gon' cry I got all right, so we are b -b 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 back at the new Canadian music video countdown. It's your boy Friday Ricky Dread, aka Media Rick, and we're back with another list of hot new music videos. All right, now this is a list of all the new music videos that have been compiled over the last week, at least 500 views and up, that we need you, the people, to choose from so that we can narrow it down and figure out who is going to be the number one song in Canada this week out of the top six videos in Canada, all right? Now, before I start this video here, I need you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit that subscription button below, as well as the notification bell next to it, as well as please share this video to a friend. So tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that the We Love Hip Hop Network is the hottest network in Canada, all right? So make sure to share this video, whether it's on your Twitter page, whether it's on your Facebook, whether it's on your Instagram, to let the people know out there, all right? Now, also at the end of this video, we're gonna be giving you our regular music industry tips and because of the new rules that we've been implemented into making it into the new music video releases as well as the top six we're going to be giving you tips on how to make views or how to accumulate views on your music videos okay so how to get that music video push on youtube all right i know we've spoken about this earlier in music video tips or uh, music industry tips but this time we're going to elaborate a little bit more so if you're not down for long music uh long for long YouTube videos, you might want to click off of this. But if you really, really want to get some of that industry knowledge, you're going to want to stay tuned to the end of this video. All right. Also, make sure to check out the Respect the Process Challenge that's going down right now. All five beats are available up on our SoundCloud page, soundcloud.com slash we love hip hop. All right. Pick from one of those five beats. Send us a one minute video of you spitting your hottest bars. We'll put you up against another rapper and let the people decide who gets to go on to the next round. The finalist, the finalist at the end of all the rounds will be able to come onto the We Love Hip Hop podcast, get an interview going on with us, promote your music, as well as spit us some bars. All right. So hashtag respect the process. Send your submissions over to our email address, we love hip hop toronto at gmail.com. Again, that's we love hip hop toronto at gmail.com. And we're going to be taking a look at your submissions. Scene. But let's get to this list. No more long talking. We've got a lot of music videos for y'all to see today. So new Canadian music video releases. Let's go. When you least expect a certain I see mans do this soul for small bags I hope it's worth it Slam keep something for a serpent God sent she trying to worship Eat it Happy birthday Money cash one Money cash one He bought a bad boy I'm a bad boy Yeah, 2020 Why you do hits for a bounce? Slap his shit up and it bounce. That's long care. I ain't even on the block. Send shots to get you thrown down. Real street better repent in the fiend's medicine. Show up to That's where I reside. Put up panties to the side. Give a good deed like a Y. Uh, seeing all you want and all my chain make you jealous. Tempering a habit. I ain't really gotta say it twice. You know you can't have it. Big drip got me feeling lavish. Tryna take off. Send it. Water is ripping and chilling it. Kitchen, these houses is raising my package, they flip it. Play me, yo, so getting lifted. Play me, then the fifth game is it. Hit the block. Wait. Take those kissing hugs, but you would rather close, bitch He put his nigga up and that's who he was close with She gon' set the rules and I don't need no rules Ooh, play, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking Independence, free up all my defendants Buzz in the city is growing, I'ma transcend it Never got lucky, knew I was destined Nigga, I'm golden, wouldn't have guessed it Polo G, all dialect He'll recognize the real of you, fool I got some niggas and they not you Young I'm out of blow, so y'all gon' hate me Injured ass nigga, the boy won't play me Never ah. Stay the clip, make him dance Stay the clip Funny though, the way the tables turn, yeah, the wars my fucking tummy though, and you all like let it. My place, then my night, y'all cap on way. Too far 
gone for all y'all say. Yeah, I wanna see you rising. Always on the moon like I'm Verizon. Get it how you can't no sympathizing. Top in, watch it drip, watch the flex, how I ball hard. Bench chunk, all black, watch me speed for her. And she said, why you moving like My boys do his ball, hey, take your thought. Make that bitch give me thumb Get no fucks I just do what I want That I done Took it on rub up on my son Yeah, you know I got the gun Be my little bro A1 You know that bling shit A1 That dog Games the rest should not made Much of importance Or else it's condoning To all of the time spent Trying to make it I'm making it Make sure they're taking the late shit I'm dumping Who died as I be lavish Tryna put four more stuff in them dollars Up in the bag quick I would design a triple like one Look at my swag, look at my drip, set in the ring, let us in K, double the belly before I see gays, touch the Lord, pull up at A. Yeah. I'm Max Theater HD, the life you live make it crazy. Baby girl, she want a baby, so I can let a nigga take me. Yeah, words that why the fuck is he blowing? He causing commotion, I'm stacking bro hunters, I'm getting these buttons. No drip coming, just bust some red ones. Baby, how my shit is imported. So let's get to our music industry tips this week. And this week, as promised, we're gonna be talking about how to push your YouTube videos. Now it's very essential with the changes that we've done with our list now um, so that you can get onto the list whether it, when it comes to the new Canadian music video countdown or the new Canadian music video releases, you gotta have at least 500 views on your music video, okay? We're not talking about if you're, you know, the, the list gets compiled all the way up to Monday nights, every Monday night by midnight. That's when we lock off the list. So if you dropped your video on Monday during the daytime, we're not expecting 500 views on that video in particular. Okay, but we're looking to see it being on track to being at least 500 videos to make, to make it on the list. Anybody else, if your video has dropped within the last 48 hours, 36 hours, you know, a lot of these videos are compiled as soon as we film the podcast on Wednesday night. So you got from Wednesday night all the way to Monday night to get at least 500 views. And a lot of videos that have made it on the countdown or have made it onto the list have not even broken that. So now we've made the rule. But with that being said, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to push your music videos so that you can get those views, so that you can get that audience out there knowing about your new hot song and your new hot video, all right? So let's start with a share campaign. You're gonna, you know, a good thing is to sh start up a share campaign where you're giving some kind of incentive to your audience that if they share the video, you know, they'll get something back in return. Whether it's a mention, whether it's a repost on your platform, if you got a pretty busy platform, you know, sometimes people do it in the form of cash, you know, they, they got a, a big cash reward for the person who shows the most love to their music video, who shared it in the most places, all right? But you gotta do it in the form of a campaign. Just like how a president, how a prime minister might be running for a campaign, Pain. It's the exact same thing when you're pushing a music video or a song. All right, but we're talking about music videos here. So when you got a music video, you got to treat it like a campaign and push the hell out of it and let everybody know that you got this new music video. You got to make sure that you are plugged into all the social media platforms, okay? Or at least all the social media platforms where you know that your audience exists, okay? Based on your demographics. So if you're a young person, you're going to want to be on TikTok, okay? You're going to want to be on Snapchat. You're going to want to be on, on Instagram and all the different platforms. And, and, and you're going to... So that you, when you're dropping your music video, you're simultaneously posting it on your Snapchat, on your Facebook, on your Twitter, on your Instagram, on all your social media platforms at once so that people know that you're premiering your new music video on YouTube. Okay, so, but if you're not signed up, if you only got an Instagram page and that's the only social media page that you got, or if you don't even have an Instagram page or you're not active, then you're not gonna really be, ha you're not gonna have a base to be able to promote your stuff to or promote your new music video to, all right? So make sure that you're signed up for as many social media platforms as possible, okay? They're all free in the end of the day, so you're not gonna have to pay any sign up fee to have a Twitter account or to have a Facebook account. Okay, and it's just more beneficial to get more audiences in more places. Also, with that being said, when you have all your social media platforms, make sure that the link is in the bio, okay? It's the worst thing when you pull up to somebody's bio and a new music video link is in the bio, okay? By the way, it's the worst thing when you pull up to somebody's account, you go to the, you go to the bio right away and there's no link for the music video. 
all right? It's almost like hustling backwards. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you have the link for your new music video in the bio, whether it's on your Twitter profile, whether it's on your Instagram profile, you're gonna wanna have the link for the bio available so that when people like um, any media outlets like myself or like ourselves, or you know, just any fans pull up and they go to your bio right away, at least there's a quick link that you can go to that you can see your music video right away. Preferably, if you can make a specialized link where you can track the engagement on that link, it's better so that you can see what's actually going on and how many people are clicking on the link, besides just depending on the music video views, all right? Um, if you have an engaged as well as a high numbered social media following, it's great to do some of those posts where you're like 500 comments or more and we're gonna drop this video. Okay, it creates excitement, it, it creates engagement on your page that you already have a good following on, and it gives them something to do. Okay, when you have a page and you, you're, you're, you're feeding it content, your audience is looking for you know the next challenge, something to do, something fun. So, you know, start up a challenge if you have to, start up something where you're you know you're letting people know you need the comments, you need the engagement, because in the end of the day. It's one thing to have a lot of people viewing or clicking on something, but it's a different thing to have engagement. Engagement is when people are commenting on stuff, when they're sharing this link, when they're saving it, okay? That is exactly what engagement is. So, you know, when you create a post like 500 comments and we're gonna drop our new music video, that creates engagement to your page and it also creates excitement for the music video for when it drops, all right? And it encourages the people to push and it gives the people the voice of when that music video drops, all right? Next, build your YouTube subscriber base. Okay, if you have a very big YouTube subscriber base, for example, if you have like 5,000 YouTube subscribers and you have at least 10% 10, uh, 10 of those people who are gonna watch your music video, most likely more, then you got at least 500 views right off the hop right there. So it's very important to build that audience um, in your subscriber base so that you'll have the audience there ready for when you drop your music videos, okay? If you got a, a subscriber base of 10, 20,000 people or even more, guess what? There's 20,000 people waiting for your new music video. So build that subscriber base. Now, let's get to some paid ad types of stuff. We've spoken about this for a few minutes now, maybe about six, seven minutes, and we haven't gotten to any points where you guys have to spend any money. But there are options where you could spend money to get more views on your music videos. For example, Google Ads, okay? It helps to build views on your music videos. Even though it's not organic, they are still real views and real people will see it. You just have to make sure that you're targeting the right audience so that when your video pops up in front of like, let's say a piece of content or another video, that the people that you've targeted will be engaged in your video and are more likely to watch the whole thing rather than clicking through, okay? So using Google Ads properly can help you to get those views on your music videos. You can do that before your music video drops. It doesn't have to be after the video drops so that you can have a nice set of views before it drops. And then that perception helps more people to wanna see the video. And it also helps it to get pushed up in the YouTube suggestions, okay? So Google ads are a very helpful way as well as Facebook ads and different things like that to help get um, more eyes in front of you, in front of your um, music video. And also you have to make sure to target the right people, okay? Paid promotions that you can do with influencers, you know, whether it's, you know, repost on, on different, on Instagram pages, there's multiple media pages that do repost just like ourselves, you know what I'm saying? So if you do, if you want to pay an influencer to repost your music video, that can be very handy, whether it's one of the media sites or, or you know, you got different sites like Cameo. Um, and other sites like that that have celebrities that will do a shout out for you, okay? Big shouts to Lunel, you know what I mean? I received a gift on my 10 year anniversary, anniversary of sobriety with a shout out from Lunel, but those things can also be used when you're promoting your music, promoting your new music video. Get an artist that is on that list and get them to talk about your music video. It's a paid service, however, it's very beneficial to get a lot of eyes in front of your stuff, okay? 
Also, another paid option is using the YouTube live streams that a lot of influencers go on and do, okay? They got different things like the No Jumper podcast that goes live, as well as We Love Hip Hop Radio, and we take donations for playing people's music videos in front of the audience that we have building um, in the live stream, as well as it's being seen by a, 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 an influencer. For example, when you do a video post with Adam22, Adam22 has over 3 million subscribers. He's watching, he might like it, he might share it, he might, um, you know, he might share it on one of his social media platforms just by liking the, just cause he likes the song. So with that and a small donation, it helps to push your music video and get it way more views, okay? Last couple of things, you might want to premiere it on a big YouTube channel. For example, Six Buzz Premieres does music video um, post as well as Six Wars. So it's getting premiered into a, a place where there's a high subscriber base already. So that's another good suggestion is using big YouTube channels that are already already have a, re a very big subscriber base and premiering your music video up on those channels. Okay, it doesn't mean that you can't premiere it again on your, mu on your channel later on. However, if you want to get a, a a high amount of audience that's already engaged in one place premiered on one of those people's channels okay last but not least give your music video space okay give the release a space to work itself out properly you know give it a random amount of promotion on each music video unless you're an artist that you do numbers right off the hop whether it's a hit or not you know, you wanna give your music video time to get the views that it deserves, okay? So if you're pushing, pushing, pushing and putting a lot of promotion into this one music video, don't drop another one right away, right um, right after, so that you're drowning the promotion and all the money that you just put into that first, um, to that last video, okay? Give your videos, give your releases time to breathe, okay? That's all I got. I know it was a long one today, but I feel it's really important for the people out there. A lot of artists out there are pushing music videos and have really great music that don't have a lot of views under it. Okay, and we want your music video to be your music video to be seen by as many people as possible, especially when it's really good music. All right, so that's all I got for today. Make sure to leave your votes for the music video montage that we have from before. We're going to be looking to find the top six tracks in or the top six music videos in Canada. And then from there, we're going to be able to figure out who's going to be the number one video in Canada this week. All right. Make sure to log on to our website, welovehiphop.ca. Follow us on Instagram at We Love Hip Hop Network and follow me all across the board on all social media platforms at Friday Ricky Dread. That's D R E D. Scene. It's your boy Friday Ricky Dread, aka Media Rick. And I'm out. Yeah. <laughs>